Hey guys, uh, I promised a few people I would make a video about the Chifu and let everybody know what it is and what it entails and I thought this was a good opportunity because I had a couple videos I wanted to post about this quad. Um, I've recently been in touch with some racing organizations and found out that I do not need to run an action camera on this quad to race it where I'm going to be racing uh, this year. So. I took the action cam off, took the mount off, got it as light as possible. It sits right at 330 grams, the way it is right now. As you can see, I'm running a, a strange dipole antenna on the VTX. Uh, most people aren't using something of this design for their VTX antenna. But uh, this morning, I broke off my pigtail for the SMA and I thought that it would be a good idea to try a dipole because I had uh, been told by people that they are pretty good so I thought I'd give it a shot this one I guess is a pretty strange dipole most of them that I've seen just have one load within a wire sticking out of it and this one has a load and a wire and another load and no wire sticking out of the end of that so I don't know how exactly how this works, but it's doing the job. It's a 5.8 gigahertz antenna, so um, let's see. I'll start at the bottom and work my way up. I've got a CL Racing F4 version 1.2. Uh, so it's the old, it's not the CL F4S that a lot of people are using now. Uh, and that is operating for uh, DYS XS 30 amp ESCs, uh, multi shot protocol, also have a Fly Sky X6B receiver running on iBus. I've got everything conformal coded in this quad with. Uh, acrylic conformal it's even even got the body work acrylic conformal because it's shiny and I like shiny uh, but it's waterproof so I can land it right in the snowbank and then just take off again and that's real nice uh, I basically clear nail polish <laughs> is what it is so yeah there you know about the ESC's now the motors are Sumax Innovation 2207 2600 kV uh, extremely fast, durable, and smooth. They're a bit difficult to fly slowly because they're ridiculously powerful. Even on a four cell, they feel like a five cell on other motors. I mean, it's just something about these. I've never seen anything like it before. Uh, you'll see in the flight footage, uh, it's kind of hard to tell four cell from five cell. I mean, the five cell has a little more grunt and a little more top speed but it's not a lot so yeah these are highly recommended very awesome motors shirt tail cousin to the e-fall from what I'm told uh, my camera is a run cam swift 2 it is been around for a long time it is as you can see there's even the swift emblem has worn off <laughs> That's how long it, this camera has been around. Got that from my good friend Charles Hoover. Thank you, my friend. Charged me 20 bucks for that. This frame, the El Cheapo frame, came from DroneLogic.com. Uh, that's my other friend, Nick Price. He sold me this frame for 20 something dollars on DroneLogic. Uh, so, you know, a $20 frame, $20 camera, $30 flight controller uh, you know like 15 bucks for the 6 6b the ESC's are $40 I mean the motors are fairly expensive they're $23 a piece but the you know the rest of it besides the motors is cheap what is that 20 50 70 80 you know I, I got a hundred dollars sitting here plus the ESC's and motors so not too bad. Anyways, 
Uh, I wanted to show you some footage flying with this dipole antenna. Uh, I'm real impressed with it. It's not quite as good as like the TBS Triumph, but it, it's real good. Oh, I do have a capacitor hidden in my power wire, if you were wondering what that hump was. Yeah, so there's a little overview. I mean, I need to get some practice talking to the camera. I'm just trying to be as natural as I can doing this stuff. I've got a lot of things coming in the mail I'm going to be reviewing. So I need to get used to speaking to the camera and doing this type of stuff. So get ready for more because it's coming. Oh, yeah, well, I'm sitting here. I don't know if you can see this. I got two wires running into my Yushin VR D2 Pro goggles. And I've got a microphone right down here pointing at my face. So when I'm flying and talking, that's how I'm recording. It's hooked right to the Pro DVR unit inside here. The wires just connect right into that Pro DVR, and then I have audio. So you can hear the quad, you can hear me talk all kinds of cool stuff so all right thanks guys there's a pretty decent overview of it everybody's seen this thing flying in videos like the 5s chipu video that everybody says oh my god that's so fast that's this quad with a five cell 100 c pack and wind dancer 5042 props these props are uh, cyclone 5040 c uh, I like the Cyclone 5040C with a 4-cell. They're smoother than the Wind Dancer. The Wind Dancer 5042 on this quad are a little more bitey, and they're quicker handling, but they're not as smooth. These are smoother, and I think these are a little faster top speed. I mean, these, mo these props won't be fast on most quadcopters, but on mine, they're particularly fast because these motors spin ridiculous rpms i know they're rated at 2600 kv but they spin a lot more rpms than my old 2700 kv motors did these are 2207s versus my old 2306 2700s which would not turn the rpms that these do these are just wild so anyways have a good night guys watch some flight footage after this a little 4s and a little 5s kind of hard to tell the difference
baby. Does that fly awesome or what? That was sick. All right, 800 milliwatts, 5S dipole. That seemed pretty good. Pretty good. 136 amps drawn. 